Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julianne. I'm here to do my reaction video for Season 2, Episode 15 of One Tree Hill. This time the title of the episode is An Open Letter to the World. An Open Letter to the World. And I am excited to watch another episode of One Tree Hill to continue enjoying Season 2 and to actually, you know, already finish a Season 2. Uh, because I'm very, very excited to watch and to enjoy uh, this show. So I hope you guys enjoy Hope you guys continue supporting for more. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you love One Tree Hill. Subscribe for more, comment, hit the notification bell, and you can go to Patreon right now and watch the full extended version for this reaction and so much more in case you guys want to watch that. Link, as always, will be in the description down below. And yeah, that's about it. We have, do you know that One Tree Hill has, let me check out. <clears throat> Night seasons with 187 episodes. 180 episodes, which I have only watched 35 episodes. No, 37 episodes. I have watched 37 episodes, which leads up with 150 more episodes to go. So you gotta, you guys are gonna be here for like three years <laughs> if you guys want to watch the entire thing. <coughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoy it and let's just begin. Nobody ever knows anyone. Oh, I hate that he feels like what that. Feel like some kids find it difficult having a stay. If that is Dan, I swear to God. I won't see it. Not until 2055. 2055? I need to move out. What? What? I'm gonna move back in with my folks. Why? Because we kiss? Well, yeah. You're so cute. I not, and I want to ask you out Friday night. A blast. I love that. Agree to watch Jen. I actually like that. Hey, um. I really like them night. together. Oh, You're sweetie. cool back in the day. <laughs> um, and to Jenny Jagelski, who is, wow, um, 55? 50s now. Uh, yeah. Oh, 50, sure I think. How old is she? One. Plus, he's a tall. I'm father. terrible at math. <laughs> Well, if Dan's a man, I think he is. My guy should have something soon. So good when you have a rich yeah, boyfriend. Uh, okay, I'll let you guys make out. Whatever you straight people do. <laughs> My name is Ana Tagaro. I'm bisexual. Oh yes, a queen, a queen. Although if I still haven't found the nerve to come out to my friends and family by 2055. Hey mom and dad, <laughs> what up? <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> She's so cute. She's so dumb. Couldn't care what happens to him. <laughs> he bores me Nate. to no end. Drunk, bitter, kind of like mom. <laughs> Nate. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I quit. He used to be near you. Oh, gosh. You know what you need to do, sweetie? Remove this bitch from, from your existence. Just to say goodbye. She's gonna come back, though. He's being very dramatic. Nathan? What are you doing? Haley hates pink. <laughs> Good. Yeah, Good for you. So? Ooh, a clown. Oh, my clown. God. He's yeah. very passive-aggressive. I love Good this. Bro. You'll be fine. You've got good hips. <laughs> See you at the party. You know, I'm probably we're gonna be awkward. dead in 50 years and because the in a way, it's dying. Like sex That's is what the I mean. easy part. Lucas's mother forbid my involvement. Ass. <laughs> He's an ass. Well, yes, that is true. Okay. I didn't take <laughs> his money. Money is power, and power is control. Ass of a suit, and your. I thought she was. I thought she was gonna be calm. Red boy haircut. <laughs> I wasn't calm. He chose his father. Oh, sweetie. That has to sting. Like if Josh one day wakes up and says, oh, I don't want to live with my dad, I will be like jumping off a bridge. I swear to God. And we need to kill Dan. That's the only option. Promise. Erica Marsh? Oh. Erica? <laughs> what the hell? Congratulations. Thank do you. Do you drink? I do now. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just trying to have alcohol. <laughs> it's a fun spirit to be around. Currently, I'm dating, um, Brooke Davis. No, <laughs> fuck See off. You. Sometimes the open time caps is early. Oh, no. Nathan, stop. Move or I'll run you over. Oh, no. Give me the keys. You can drive. Come on, Nate. No, oh my god. He already went to a car accident. And I am lucky to be with you tonight. 
Oh, and that is so cute. It's so cute. You're the one who was driving. <laughs> yeah. Hey, call for a pizza. I'm starving. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <man>. sure. <laughs> Look at mouth. You got a quarter in your pocket? Yeah. Call Dan. Good. Call the father you love so much. <laughs> I love it, that. Your own mom can't stand you. <laughs> Will you be married to someone like Marvin McFadden? Who's Marvin McFadden? Is it him? Wait, what? It would be really wrong to watch this, right? <laughs> okay, I thought Stop they were gonna doing that. Uh, that's Take a, it as low. That's a problem. Why? It's good. She's good. It's cool. I got it. I no. think so, buddy. It's Rosie Palm for you tonight. Okay? <laughs> Go away. I'm glad that she. Whoa, that she, Erica. That she's Erica. helping her. Kiss. Nice. Afraid Daddy will like me more than you. You mean kind of how he liked my mom better than yours? Oh, whoa, whoa. No. Oh, no. I mean, kind of like how your wife likes Chris better than you. Oh, no, no. Cut it out. Cut it out. Oh, god damn it. Because I got news for you. It's pretty darn messy right now. Is it still messy in 2020? I guess it's <laughs> that way. To we have a deal more years to go. Way. Three, five, whatever. I'm terrible at math. And that's what it always should be about. That's true. You, you need to find yourself a girlfriend. <laughs> they tied them into like opposite sides of this. Keith slept with your mom. <laughs> oh god, things aren't going great for you. It's true. And if she loves me, what's there to figure out? She's right. What, what, what is there to figure out? Do you have ghosts? <laughs> the only nice ones. <laughs> the ones in the top drawer. No, no, no. I never slept with Lucas. That was Nathan. I just pushed that too. Okay, because it's, <laughs> it's not like that. It, I'm not like that. I, well, but you ha you were in a relationship with him. It's okay. I've been with. They are really cute together. Wait, is this a church? And Dan is not bursting into flames? There's something wrong in the world. <laughs> I think if she really loves him, he should tell him. I guess it's easier to tell one person than it is to tell your whole world. Honestly. You never stop coming out. You're gonna make a great president. Thanks. She's gonna throw Waste up. Waste came behind you. <laughs> <laughs> you should have your mail forwarded here. <laughs> they give you true. the same cell as before. I don't know. They redecorated. <laughs> great. I jokes. love You know David. how much it's gonna cost? Don't cut any deals with me like you did for Lucas. Oh, shit. Tell mom Keith says hi. <laughs> she there? Was she hiding in a bush? What the hell? Where'd the guy came from? Come on, little brother. Let's go. I like them bonding. I hate the topic of the bonding. I felt like I was meant for something more, you know? Good, more sweetie. Than I'm meant for you. What the fuck? Shut up. Yes, of course. Let Did he really ask? The blame for the past. Let us accept Did he really ask that? For the future. <laughs> Could you maybe not hit on Brooke? <laughs> <laughs> not I love this. Thank you, Mouth. <laughs> My name is Anna Tagaro. She House. didn't delete it, right? And I'm gay and straight what? and a Latina, and I hate labels. And I'm just trying to find my way. I don't like the fact that they removed the bisexual it's label, though. It's very important, you know. Even so, I'm doing something with her that. I've never done this. Put a condom? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Jake, that is so sweet. Oh, look at them bonding. But that doesn't change the fact I need to get closer to my father. Ew, why? Because if I can get closer to him, maybe I can find a way to beat him. You're planning on killing him. <laughs> and my wish is that one day she'll agree oh, to be my wife. Oh, no! And we'll grow old together. Oh, it's you? Oh God! Why would you do this to me? Why would you do this? Okay, guys. So that was the end of season two, episode fifteen of One Tree Hill, and I really like this episode because of the whole, you know, time capsule thing. Do not like the fact that you know Anna first came out and says, "I'm I'm bisexual." I think that it's so important and so brave of her 
to say it to say it in front of a camera. Yes, you will be seen in 15 years, whatever. She will have the time to fully come to terms with her sexuality and you know, uh she will be able to tell people probably. Uh just like she told Mouth. Um do, do not like the fact that she says I am gay, I'm straight, I'm just a kid, you know, um living their life, figuring things out. Uh, because it takes away, I feel, from that first statement of being bisexual, you know. Um, when you're bisexual, you are n you're not gay and you're not straight. You might be uh, uh, attracted to one gender more than the other or equally attracted, whatever, but it's still bisexuality, you know. Now there's a subcategory or another category or another label with pansexuality. It kind of it is the same thing as it was bisexuality when I came out, but now there's separate things for some reason, you know. But <clears throat> I feel like the term bisexuality is so, like, people use it with, like, they, they are so scared to use it sometimes, especially in TV shows nowadays. So for me, hearing Anna said that, it was important, you know, the whole, I don't like labels, yes, there are p points in, in your life, and I have gone through the same thing, where I was like, I'm not into labels, I don't like labels, I just love who I love, and blah, blah, blah. And then figure out, like, I'm, who am I kidding, <laughs> you know? Who am I kidding? I do, I, there is a label that does fit me, and I know that, that does, it's not the same thing for everyone, but still, I, feel, I felt like that moment was very important, that it was, like, it, they, it took away... When she was like, I'm bi, I'm, I'm, I'm straight, and I'm gay. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, they were knocking on my door. <clears throat> but yeah, like I said, it did took away a little bit from me, from the, the, the powerful moment when she says that she's bisexual, to when she's like, I'm straight, I'm gay, you know. But I think that it's still very, you know, amazing that they actually use the words, you know. So I am, I'm happy about that. And hopefully, you know, I know that Anna is not, like, a main central character. But I do hope that they explore her sexuality a little bit more. And by a little bit more, I mean, like, a lot more. And I love the mouth is, like... Can you not hit on Brooke? I already have enough competition with the, with a man. Imagine if she turns out to be bisexual as well. I cannot deal, you know? So it was really cute. I really like that. <clears throat> uh, on the other hand, we have, uh, well, Nathan and Nathan's problem, which is um, with Haley. Um, I kind of understand where Lucas was coming from. When Lucas says to him, well, when she first met you, you were not a good guy, you know? Um, and she was good. And now that she's on her lowest moment, you cannot, like, you have to do the same she did for you. Well, I understand that for better or for worse and, like, in sickness and health and, you know, all of it, when you're down, your partner is supposed to bring you up, supposed to stand by you when you have problems. Uh, kissing another man really is, it has nothing to do with the fact that he didn't, like, he used to be like a, you know, a bully, a bit of a bully when he was, before he was with Haley. It has nothing to do with that. Okay, yes, she apologized. I am glad that that advice and those moments that he spent talking with Lucas kind of made a little bit more like gave him a little bit of of peace I do like that you know but to be honest I need uh, a, a true good conversation between both of them because I like I said I don't like the fact that she needs to figure shit out well you shouldn't have gotten married if you wanted to figure things out. Um, like, 
I, I understand that they are not very mature. Uh, but whatever age you are, you are well aware that cheating is not a good thing. So I am not. I am. I. I. I do have a problem with, with cheaters and of course with characters that go that do that. While she didn't have sex with Chris or anything, um, she still kissed him. You know. I mean, she's still attracted to him. And the reasons why she is, she likes Chris are so wrong because she has mixed liking someone with her music and has made music about her feelings or her confusion towards Chris. I do not like that. Like I said, I will give uh, Haley a chance to speak, to talk, to say whatever it is in her mind. Um... And we'll take it from there. But right now, I am very, very on team. Like, I'm very much on team Nathan. And I do not want to see him suffer. And if that person making him suffer is Haley, I'm sorry, but I'm not okay with it. And I'm, you know, it's going to take me a lot to forgive Haley for what she did. And you guys know how much I love Naley. You guys know how much I love them. But I won't deny right now that I love Nathan more than I love Haley. I'm upset with Haley. I feel like she cheated on me, <laughs> basically. Uh, because I, I just, I don't, I don't like that. And if it was the other way around, if it was Nathan, the one who cheated, I will be on Team Haley, trust me. But it's not the case, you know, so... When the time comes, I do will apologize because I'm going to be very biased towards uh, Nathan because I just feel like she fucked up. And I will actually advise him to, like, honey, get a divorce. She did it once. She can do it again. That probably is more, like, coming from me, you know, uh, and, and my own issues, let's say, uh, than the actual character. So we'll see how they deal with it. Uh, to be honest. Then we have, of course, um, the bonding between Nathan and Lucas. And I do like that. I do like that they are able to... I do like the fact that they were hitting each other. But they are brothers. They usually... Like, when you're with your, with your brother or your sibling, usually fight like that. So And since they didn't have that time when they were kids to, like, fight for things... I mean, I guess they're doing it now. And of course, you know, Dan just being a miserable son of a bitch. Just infect him. He's like cancer. You know, he's the representation of cancer and how cancer spreads around. He is here to infect and to kill everyone around him. That is who he is. And I do hope that one day... Lucas gets what he wants to destroy him. And with, with that, I'm not saying that he should destroy him by, by killing him. No, I, I will say like one, it will come the time. If there is a God, it will come a time where he will need help from the people that he has hurt and he's not going to get it. And I hope that he realize all the crappy things that he did while burning in hell. Because if he's not burning in hell by the end of the nine seasons that I will watch, then everything is wrong with the world, you know? If the season doesn't end with everyone dancing on top of his grave, <laughs> I have watched this show for nothing. <laughs> oh, God. I'm so funny. Anyways, but, like, literally, he is... He's awful. He's awful in the fact that he gets away with things. I hate it. I hate him so freaking much. I don't think there is a character, maybe Matt Donovan, that I hate more than Dan. Actually, I do hate Dan mo like more than I hate everyone else. I don't think there's another character that I hate as this much. I don't remember, to be honest. But I hate Dan with all my soul. Um, I feel bad for Karen because as a mom, 
if my son comes to me and say, I want to live with that, you will not hear the end of me. Like, you will not. I will, well, first of all, I will cry. And, like, I will be, like, so upset. And then be so passive-aggressive at, at the same time. Oh, bitch. Because, honestly, she has given her life for Lucas. And Lucas choosing, for whatever reason, because, like, uh... What's his face? Karen doesn't actually know why he's doing that. So to her, it's like, this bitch is really choosing that other bitch. They deserve each other. Like, I swear. I love that when she called, he called, he was, she was like, do you have another quarter? Okay. Then put it on this phone and call your fucking dad, you bitch. Bang. She, I was like, she is like passive aggressive queen. And then, of course, I love Nathan painting the wall pink because Haley hates it. You know, he's a terrible husband. Like, he was like, I'm gonna upset my wife. I'm gonna paint everything pink and I'm gonna buy a clown so she can be scared. <laughs> he's so adorable. Even when he wants to be mean to Haley, he cannot. He can't. Like, that is what he thinks of. Like, a, a normal, d normal, d regular guy will be like, huh, you cheated on me? Well, I fucked your mom or something like that. Like, they will be this vindictive. But what is my boy doing? He's painting shit pink and also buying clown uh, pictures. I mean, he is the most adorable person in the planet. Let's be real. Anyways, Brooke doing great things. I love it, the fact that she, you know, supported uh, Erica, Marsh. I love that she did that. Um... And I fucking hate Felix with all my soul. I don't understand how I can love Anna and hate Felix. They are bo like brother, but like they're individuals. I can hate them. Like hate him. You know? He was like, oh, you want more than what I'm giving you? Like, like shut the fuck up. Of course she wants more. Like, who the fuck does he believe he is? Like, and how is it that in his head that makes sense? Or that that's an actual good thing? You fucking bitch. Like, when is he going to leave? Like, seriously, let's keep Anna and let's send him to the moon. Why not? Right? I'm just saying. <coughs> Anyways, what else happened on the episode? Um, I'm about... I love the fact that Brooke also said that she was going to be married to Mouth. I love that. Um, oh, oh. The Jake Peyton moments. Dear Lord, I ship them so much. I, I, they are perfect for each other right now. I, I love it. I love that. I love that they're giving each other time and all of that. All of that. I just love them so freaking much. When they are together, I love them. I love them. Uh, the uh, day was cute. Everything was cute. And also, like, the fact that she was like, well, I have only been with one guy, and you have a lot more experience. Really? Just because he has a kid doesn't mean that he has fucked everyone, you know? I guess it's in that he still needs to learn a few moves. But the thing is that... She says, oh, well, you're more experienced and blah, blah, blah. Oh, God. Um, and that sex, even though she has sex with Nathan, it's a still important thing for her, you know? And that is okay. I, I just hate, especially with guys that feel like just because you had a previous partner, someone that you, you know, have been with, then it's so easy, okay? The next one is like, okay, let's just have sex. Like, no, like, control yourself. I mean... And there is nothing, th that's the thing. There is nothing wrong with you sleeping with a guy on the first date. There is nothing wrong with that. Just like it's, there is nothing wrong if you want to wait. You know, and the fact that we make such a big deal out of both of them, it's annoying, you know? It, it really is. Um, yeah. And then the last moment with, with, uh, with the coach, Whitey. And his his time capsule when he says that I I'm gonna be with a girl and I hope that when we grow old together and like marry that girl and that girl was his wife who died. 
And then he was saying that he wanted to have kids and like teach them. In a way he has kids like the ones that he's teaching. But like I fucking hate that that didn't work out for him. I hate it. It was so sad. <sighs> Poor thing. Uh, and I'm not even going to talk about Keith because I couldn't care less if he gets his ass, I mean his ass, his, his heart broken. I was going to say his ass broken. Whoa, he get his ass broken. <laughs> that was funny. But like, I couldn't care less. Like that was the most fun thing I had while saying something about Keith, to be honest. So I don't care about him. His heart can be broken into a million pieces. I couldn't care less. So... Yeah, next. Anyways, that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed my reaction video for One Tree Hill. I always enjoy reacting and talking about One Tree Hill. This show is just amazing. And hopefully we'll finish season two next month. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Continue supporting for more. Give it a lot of thumbs up if you love One Tree Hill. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Go to Patreon right now to watch the full extended version for this reaction and so much more. And that's about it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I will see you guys next time for more reaction videos for One Tree Hill. Mwah. Bye, guys.